Hi everyone, it's Achelia. In 2022, the Sims team introduced a plant a sim scenario that walks you through a plant sim gameplay that I've never tried. But I know that it just gives you the forbidden fruit right away. I don't think it's that fun. And I know there is not much to do as a plant sim, but it looks so cool. And I want to try that even if it's too late. So I will go over two different ways to become a plant sim. I mean, kinda. <laughs> If you own the Sims 4 Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack, you may start to look like a plant sim by eating the plant matter flavored ice cream from the ice cream machine. So let's try that first. Here is our sim for the job, Kelly Beans. And this is a cozy starter house in Hanford on Bagley. Let's put this ice cream machine on the counter because we're gonna need that. And we should have at least level 8 in cooking skill for this. So I'm gonna cheat my skill level to the maximum just to speed up the process. And for the skill cheat, Step 1. Open the cheat console by pressing Ctrl Shift C. Then type in testing cheats true. Now you can see that cheats are enabled. Step 2. Input the cheat that you need. You can find by googling it because it is so difficult to memorize all of them. But for the cooking skill, stats.set underscore skill underscore level space major underscore home style cooking space 10. You can write any number between 1 and 10, but 10 is for the maximum level. Okay, new personality trait. Kelly has been quite a perfectionist lately. No, I'm already a perfectionist. Kelly doesn't need that. Now let's make ice cream, shall we? Don't go, Kelly, don't go. The one that we need is plant matter flavored, and here it is. And apparently if we eat this thing, we will temporarily have the appearance of a plant sim. Kelly has finished creating the plant matter ice cream, so let's grab a cone. Wow, that's a big cone. Okay, so now she's eating the ice cream. We're gonna see what will happen. Oh my god, okay. We do look like a plant sim, but I guess not an actual one. I guess we're gonna look like a plant sim for like four hours. It says Kelly has the strong desire to head outside for some sun. And I guess that's all. For becoming an actual plant sim, we have to eat forbidden fruit of the plant sim. And for that, we need to purchase the rare seed packets, which is only available if you reach the maximum skill level at gardening. As you can see, we don't see it right now. So we're gonna cheat our skill level again. For the gardening skill, we will be using a similar code. Stats.set underscore skill underscore level space major underscore gardening space 10. Kelly has mastered the gardening skill. Okay, now let's purchase lots of rare seed packets. I'm gonna purchase 20 packets or something because we need each six unique magic beans. I'm gonna open all of the seed packets. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, we didn't get all the magic beans. We have five of them, so I'm gonna purchase more seed packets. Maybe like 10. Okay, now we have the complete collection of magic beans. We also need to purchase the magic plant sim stump from outdoor activities. Okay, let's place this right there. Now we're gonna put each of the magic beans into the stump. Now we're gonna water this stump. It is turning into a magic tree. Oh my god. Let's head into this portal and see what happens. We might need to go into the tree a few times to get the forbidden fruit of the plant sim. Okay, she's still exploring. Kelly plucked the fruit from the tree. Okay, luckily we got the fruit at the first time. Yes, it's in our inventory. The forbidden fruit of the plant sim. Where are you going, Kelly? Come back here. So eating this will turn Kelly into an actual plant sim. But if you want to stay as a plant sim, you may want to plant this first. Because effects of the plant sim wear off every 5 days. But I'm not gonna wait for that right now, so let's just eat the fruit. Oh my god, it's happening, it's happening! And she's a plant. Kelly ate the forbidden fruit. Okay, don't panic, it will be alright. Just try and act natural. No, really. 
natural like a plant. Drink lots of water and stay in the sun and she will flourish and photosynthesize which will replenish her hunger. Keep in mind that as a plant sim she won't need to eat regular food. Thankfully that also means that she won't have to go to the bathroom either. Okay so few of her needs changed. Her bladder needs replaced with water. It means she needs to stay hydrated. Taking a shower, drinking water, using the sink and swimming for example can increase the water need as you can see and her hunger need also altered to the sunlight or something this means that she must go outside often to bask in the sunlight instead of eating food but she can also absorb solar energy from the plants i'm gonna plant something to test this okay now let's try absorb solar energy from the plant oh my god she's glowing it looks so cool apparently it's killing the plant and I guess the rest of her knees work as a regular sim. So final thoughts. I don't like to use cheese when I play the sims 4. It's just my preference. So I guess I would love to become a master gardener first. Then a plant sim. Without using any skill cheats. I think it might be really fun for my regular gameplay. And beside all that. It's just nice to have an occult type in the base game. And it's just a temporary stage. So you can just try it on your sim. And turn back into your regular gameplay after 5 sim days. Anyway let me know your thoughts about plant sims. Did you already knew about them? Did you ever play as a plant sim? Do you think it should have been different than it is now? I'm really curious to know your thoughts. By the way I'm thinking to play with each scenario in the sims 4. So let me know which scenario I should try first. With that being said thank you so much for watching and I guess I will see you all in the next video. Bye everyone!